Hey guys, how you doing? In this video, we're going to discuss the three deadly mistakes you're probably making in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And while I take you through these important mistakes, I'm also going to take you on a journey to the top of one of the most beautiful places in Tehran in Iran, which is right above me, as you can see here. That is the Mila Tower in Tehran, the sixth tallest tower in the world. We're going to go to the top and I'm going to show you what Tehran looks like from above. And we're going to discuss the three deadly mistakes. Hey guys, we're now going up the, uh, the Milad Tower in Tehran. What you're going to see right now is the sixth tallest tower in the world. Guys, let's talk about deadly mistake number one, which is that never keep your cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin in the actual exchange you purchased them from. So if you bought your Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies from a certain exchange, the worst mistake you can make probably is to keep it in that exchange because that exchange could go bankrupt or get hacked. Now, instead of keeping the money, keeping the cryptocurrencies in the exchange, which is unsafe, the better or safer thing to do is actually to transfer the cryptocurrencies to a secure wallet like Trezor. I personally quite like Trezor. I think it's a secure place to keep the cryptocurrency is in a secure wallet. All right, guys, time for deadly mistake number two, which is that you should never invest any more than you could lose in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Believe it or not, that actually was a great advice given by a millionaire Bitcoin investor himself. And he said, never put any money into cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin that you could stand to lose. All right, guys, let's talk about now deadly mistake number three, which is always have an exit strategy. Now, that option may not be so cool or popular with Bitcoin investors, especially those are hardcore Bitcoin investors or crypto investors. However, even professional investors agree that you should always know when to get out or did exit the market if things are not going your way to reduce your downside risk. Now, one great way to reduce your risk and indeed limit your losses is to use a stop loss. And what you could do, for example, is look at the charts and say, if the price falls below a certain level, then therefore I'm going to exit my position. Another great exit strategy is to use a percentage stop loss. For example, if the market you're investing in falls by a percentage, you can say, okay, I'm out of the market. And by the way, remember, exiting the market does not mean that you're out forever. You can always re-enter and get back into the market.